What's up everyone, it's Matt Martin. Uh, so I'm going to do a, uh, I'm gonna take you through the start of repairing the lawn here at my house. So what we have is, we've just got a lot of crap. It's loaded with broadleaf weeds, uh, mix of Bermuda, mix of fescue, and uh, what I'm going to do is turn this into a, a brand new Bermuda yard by the end of the season and kind of document the process along the way. I'm going to make it kind of line, a little bit of a line here. And, uh, but anyway, that's going to be the goal to see if I can turn this into a, uh, a Bermuda yard by the end of the year. And in fact, what I would like to do is have it Bermuda by the 4th of July. So. It's gonna be the ultimate test. I'm gonna spray it with blue dye today. Uh, I don't like to use blue dye, especially spraying it with the permagreen. Oh, and I'm gonna do all this with the permagreen. So anyway, gonna put it through its paces. Let's get started. So I've got the yard sprayed and what I did with this first application is I ran a half rate of prodiamine. I also applied 64 ounces to the acre of a three-way product and I also applied 16 ounces to the acre of triclopyr. And uh, you know, like I said, I ran it with the, uh, with the tracking dye. You can see a little bit of the blue on here. And I did that just for just for funsies. It really serves no purpose. I can follow my wheel tracks pretty easy on this, but kind of wanted to see what it looked like out of the permagreen, and I can see it a little bit. So anyway, you know, weed varieties, we've got just about everything imaginable here. So I'll document over the next couple of weeks what it looks like as this all starts to die, and I kind of give you a time frame of what it's going to look like as it does die this time of year. So. You know, for instance, right now, we are March the 24th, and it is 61 degrees outside. So this application made it 61 degrees. We'll follow it over the next couple of weeks. All right, thanks, y'all.